Hi guys. So today's video is going to be a message that you need to hear right now, surprise message. So we have four piles, pile one, two, three, and four. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self. Take a couple deep breaths, pick the pile you feel most drawn to, and we are going to get started with pile one. So remember that this is a collective reading. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if you would like a more personalized reading, I do offer personal readings now as well. My email is earthangel1133 at yahoo.com. So hit me up if you're interested. Have faith in your that your dreams will come true. Dramatic. Intentional. Gravity. So... I think there's a need to really trust in your spiritual path and higher purpose, to trust in the signs and synchronicities that you're receiving from the universe, to cleanse and clear your energies as well, and to find your peace and grounded energy, to really intentionally ground yourself and bring yourself back down to earth, you know, feel at peace with where you're at. Don't go into any kind of dramatic energy, don't feel like your dreams are all going to fall away. It's time to believe in yourself and your dreams. We have patience and trust allow you to move forward in a graceful way. Recognition will come in the form of a following fans on social media. Knowledge and wisdom are keys that will get you far. Your business sense is on point. Trust that you know where the value lies. Healing inspiration, healing and inspiration comes to you. Your belief never wavers. Your faith shows in all that you do. Your writing reveals true insights to others. Know that you will get recognized. So we have the rabbit. The hummingbird, spider, the mouse, and the dragonfly. So there's really a need to free yourself from any kind of illusions of the mind to really understand why you might be so anxious in what you're working on and how to let go of control a little bit. Really how to just be able to enjoy life and enjoy the moment and trust that you are on the right path and know that happiness is always going to be fleeting and temporary if we are not working towards what we truly want. So don't allow any kind of anxiety or fears that it ain't going to isn't going to happen to get in the way of you working towards this. Whatever this is. Grab a couple extra cards here. Strategize and defend your ideas, but don't hold on to any illusions that other people are out to get you. You have been through a lot. Stand up tall and defend what you, what is yours. It's time to delve into your emotions so that you can understand them more fully. Understand what's worth fighting for. Understand what's worth defending. And you may be running away from a connection or a friendship because you're feeling defensive like somebody might be out to get you. <clears throat> but it's time now to really tap into your intuition and trust that you know how to handle anything because you have been through so much that you are capable of handling whatever comes your way. It's time to stand up and take action to defend what is valuable to you and what you believe in. And I just kind of want to get a little extra feel for these cards from the book as well. And by the way, Dragonfly actually popped out in the fourth pile. It popped out right side up, so I saw it. So if you feel like you're drawn to that one, go ahead and read that one. As, or go ahead and listen to that one as well. Master of light, illusion in the mind. The dragonfly is an ancient, ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder and all. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind as it is always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragon card, a dragonfly card appears, it is worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Are they restless and still dreamlike or crystal clear? The situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance. The dragonfly reminds us to calm the mind so that the light of wisdom can shine through. When in balance, sees clearly joyful, magical. When out of balance, can't concentrate, busy mind. 
to bring into balance focus on the breath so once again just taking the time to find that peace in your thoughts to really just breathe out and let everything go Positive, enthusiastic, spiritually resourceful. Inside the tiny hummingbird resides an endless well of energy and positivity. Its secret is that it has learned where to gather nectar and returns to these sources daily for nourishment and rejuvenation. This elixir springs from many sources, but usually involves nature, creativity, and exploring spirituality. Follow the way of the hummingbird and you cannot go wrong. Every droplet of life becomes sweet, every moment worth savoring. Smart, curious loves to learn when out of balance, pushy, insistent, or sharp. To bring into balance, take a class. So, there may also be somebody in your life as well that may not be what they seem to but you're not supposed to be worrying about that either way what you're supposed to be doing is working towards your goals and remaining positive and upbeat about the outcome mouse detail-oriented small-minded nitpicky nervous when in balance, organized, resourceful, prepared, when out of balance, busy with no purpose to bring into balance a meaningful project. So it's time to work on a meaningful project and it's time to get grounded and organized to get prepared. You're somebody very resourceful and you can do whatever you want to, but at the same time, you have to let some things go in order to move forward, you know? It has an innate desire to tend to the details, often spending its days fixing, preparing, organizing, and scrutinizing. but sometimes we can just run around in circles, never actually getting anything done, which is why it's necessary to rest as well, and that's also why it's necessary to make sure that you are working on what you feel is the most productive use of your time. Afraid of everything overwhelmed and frozen, the rabbit loves to remind his friends that someday the eagle will swoop down and eat him. He talks and talks and talks about it so loudly, in fact, that the eagle hears and thanks him for the great idea. Rabbit energy is alive when we are scared most often about the future and we become our own worst enemy. We spin up a dust cloud of fear and then complain to others that we are lost. Notice your thoughts and words, O oh rabbit, they shape your destiny. When in balance, sensitive problem solver, good listener. When out of balance, over explains or talks fast to bring into balance a day of silence. So once again, taking some time out for yourself would be a very good idea for this pile. Taking some time in nature would be a really good idea too to get in touch with yourself, your own intuition, and to get grounded and balanced. Taking the time to get the adequate sleep and nutrition you need will also help you. And also remembering not to be intentionally dramatic about things, but also if you're a writer, intentionally dramatic is a good thing. Put that to use in skills and writing. Put it to use in other ways, in ways that bring you strength instead of weakness. Instead of using those things to gossip or run around talking about everyone else or anything like that or listening to anybody else doing that, you know, take the time to write. And then look at it again and see what's up with it. So that's what I got for this pile. And I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Or if you have a suggestion for another video, I'd love to hear that as well. I really hope that you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye. Pile 2. So for pile two, I think there may be a need to work on your sacral chakra. There may be a need to really tap into your creativity, your passion, your sexuality, your inspiration, your creativity. To really get more in touch with that and to release some shame or guilt that may be surrounding some things that you may be working on. So we have drive. nature charismatic chameleon crazy cherish yourself and others coming together clap or controlling and pure intentions so <laughs> there's some uh opposites going on here so maybe taking a drive in nature would be very good for you um, you or somebody you know is somebody that can really fit in well with any circumstance or situation can really be able to talk to anyone whatever their station is you know 
there might be something just really chaotic or crazy going on and some sort of coming together that's going on in your life. Just remember to have pure intentions and to cherish yourself and others and to not put up with any controlling behavior and try not to have any as well. We also have egoic, yes. <laughs> so, when you are working in a lower level as far as the sacral energy goes, a lot of times you end up egoic, controlling, manipulative, um, putting on a mask, things like that, so you can really be anybody for anyone, you know? And it's time to really drop down those masks and to step into a more pure energy with pure intentions. One where you are really coming together with your true self. So that you can cherish yourself and others better. Children are a big part of your future, whether yours or that of another. Listen to the signs all around you. They are practically screaming your name. You need to start showing your heart. You need to start showing your hard work to others. With attention comes recognition. No more invisibility. Through teamwork and effort, things are falling into place. Remember all the efforts that went into this project. You are very sassy and competitive. You rise to any challenge. Don't hesitate to believe in your dreams. We dream things for a reason. Conscience, Jacob Lee. Music is the key to inspiration. Find the wisdom in the lyrics. So, <laughs> these two actually came out in my last reading together too. And this has some similarities to Pile 1 if you feel drawn to that. You care for, support, and nurture all of those in your sphere. So... You're somebody very caring, supportive, nurturing, and you're really there for everyone when they need you because you're somebody with very pure intentions, but there may be somebody around you who may be in their ego. They may be a little bit controlling and they may really see your nature as crazy, you know, because there's somebody who likes to fit in everywhere, maybe. And you're somebody who really is very capable of rising up to any kind of challenge that you face including issues with children if you're having issues with children whether that be you know not the inability to have children or whether that be the issues you may be having with your own children or maybe things with other people's children you may also even be somebody who may be thinking about going into teaching as well Apparently, there's a lot of signs going on around you that are practically screaming your name. You really need to start listening to them. You really need to believe in your dreams. You have your dreams for a reason. It is time to stop being invisible and to open yourself up to showing the real you. To really come out of this energy of believing that you're crazy. And know that you have pure intentions and this is your nature. To be this person to be this way cherish yourself and others for their beauty and really release control and let go of any kind of egoic energies that you may be holding on to let go of any ideas that you may be unworthy of what you're doing or where you're going so we have the octopus Ooh. clinging on a little bit too tightly to things maybe as well so There may be a wise teacher or leader. You may be a wise teacher or leader. Somebody who can really bring a lot of inspiration and higher perspectives and understanding, knowledge, wisdom to children. Somebody who has a lot of forward momentum and drive and can really get things done and can get through it in the long haul. Somebody who really believes in magic and, and really believes in the idea of a higher consciousness somebody who's very emotional intuitive passionate and fiery somebody that really has what it takes to create something beautiful I'm just gonna kind of 
go into this book for a minute and check out these. Still getting to know them fully. We're going to do the horse first because that's the first one we came across. Momentum, freedom, expansive energy, and force. The horse represents the most masterful form of the earth energy within the deck. It provides us with the momentum so reliable, so supportive that you can ride on its back towards any goal, no matter how difficult the train. A horse personality is fully awake and fully alive and cannot be defeated. The horse's freedom becomes available to us when we hone and collect our energy through daily practices. Physical stamina or exercise and mental focus or meditation are the secret weapons behind the horse's legacy. When in balance, achieves anything and never gives up. When out of balance, runs away or feels weak. To bring into balance, strength training. So there may be a need or a necessity for you to be able to strengthen your energy protection as well. To strengthen your ability to be able to keep going no matter what comes your way. To let go of anything that may get in the way of that. Reaching, yearning, lacking boundaries direct and direction. The octopi... Octopus signifies a wonderfully perceptive mind paired with a lack of healthy boundaries. Unfortunately, this results in well-intended but messy relationships. The octopus entwines itself into other people's business and shares their own without restraint. They believe that that's what it means to be close. If you notice after spending time with someone that you feel drained or uneasy, the essence of the octopus is at play. Begin to establish healthy boundaries. Be patient and firm. It may be a very old habit to change. When in balance, interested, engaged, intelligent. When out of balance, needy, clingy, or lacks courage. To bring into balance, space to oneself and talk therapy. So... If you are somebody who really, who talks to a lot of people as well, it really, there's a balance in it. There is too much and there is not enough when it comes to the relationships in our life. People will take as much as you allow them to take. And vice versa, you know. Not necessarily always, but, but a lot of people will take what you allow them to take. And... You need to remember how much you have to give and how much other people have to give. And once you are more okay not giving so much, you will be more okay with other people in your life not giving so much either. It'll be a more equal balanced give and take between the two people instead of where it ends up being codependent energy. Lunar four season darkness, feminine energy. The tiger hunts at night. At one with the science, silence, fearing nothing. This card reminds us to take in the wild darkness, to allow the lunar forces to soothe and heal our spirits. Sensuality, receptivity, and devotion are all heightened in the midnight hour. And the tiger takes advantage of these boons. Spend some time in silence this evening, drinking in the potent calm. There is nothing to fear in the stillness except the awakening of your own power. When in balance, passionate, strong, sensual. When out of balance, overstimulated. To bring into balance, trataka or candle gazing. So yeah, it's really time to get in touch with your intuition, with your feminine energy, and to really understand it more, and understand how it works more, understand who you are more, understand what you can give, and what you can't give, and understand what others can give, and what they can't give. Cobra. Pausing, waiting, the inner teacher. The cobra represents a teacher or spiritual guardian. The cobra hovers and watches, ever present, ever protecting, ever loving. The essence of the cobra is found deep within us in the form of the inner teacher and manifests externally in those special guides who have led us along our path. What would it feel like to be a student again? What are you trying or what are you ready to learn? Remember the old saying, when the student is ready, the teacher appears? When in balance, a student of life, humble and wise. When out of balance, know it all or egocentric. To bring into balance, taking a class or study. So it might be time to take a class to understand things a little bit better. And it may also even be time to teach one as well. There might be a lot of energies of an equal give and take of learning and teaching for this pile too. You might be running into some egoic and controlling people who are really charismatic and things like that. But you also might be no noticing that you have those same traits in yourself as well. And working to make sure that you have pure intentions in what you're doing.
and not trying to control things, just to control things. So Black Ake, speaking from an authentic voice in the truth. No more confusion, small talk, noise, or lies. Only that which rings true. When this is in balance, you can speak slowly and clearly, and we're drawn to activities like writing, reading, teaching, singing, or perhaps public speaking. Sounds draw us in, books draw us in, the concept of truth that self is drawing us in, and we start asking questions like, what do I know about myself to be true, and what is true about the world? Sometimes we can speak from, the, from an unsure place when we have not yet accessed this energy. We can say things others want to hear, gossip, or repeat stories to justify our subpar behavior. We might even try to convince ourselves that we have no inner truth at all. The energy of the black egg hovers and waits for us to reconnect. It's available at every moment in every situation. The epicenter of truth, the birthplace of our voice. And it's connected to the throat chakra. Reconnecting to higher wisdom or divinity. It is difficult to see, hear, or think of a unicorn without immediately questioning if it's real. Did they ever exist? Perhaps long ago. The mind answers maybe, or it could be. No way. This is a very contemplation that ex explains our relationship with divinity and encapsulates our wavering beliefs in the unicorn. We wonder what divinity is, where our intuition comes from, and if we can really trust it. We think about a higher power, and our mind hesitates between yes, no, maybe. Is it male? Is it female? Does it have a name? Is it just a feeling? The unicorn card appears and wakes us up to the curiosity about the higher self and the divine. It is a card of questioning, exploring, and contemplating the inexplicable. The mind's eye knows that there is something beyond our day-to-day -day lives, a deeper dimension to our experiences, and the mind's eye reaches and reaches and reaches to grasp something more. You are the unicorn, and you have begun your quest for answers. So that one's for the sixth chakra, or the third eye. So basically, you're on a journey to find answers, and you can't let anything get in your way. Do not let old habits or codependent energies get in the way. Know that you can stand strong on your own and your own beliefs, trust in your own intuition, and you don't need anybody else to believe in the same things that you believe in in order to believe in them. So that's what I have for this pile, and I'd really love to hear if this resonated with you in the comments below or if you have a suggestion for a future video. I would also love to hear how this fit in your life. And I am offering personal readings now as well at earthangel1133 at yahoo.com. So if you're interested, please hit me up. Bye-bye.